students the next tutorial we are going to create translator so for that I just click here on the new project and here I will write the name of the project as translator fine press ok and a new project is added on the screen and now I will be headed towards the screen right so here first of all I am going to have the label the first label which will tell enter the word enter the text in which language you want that text to get converted see the basic purpose of translator is to translate one from one language to another language right so first of all I have to type the word in one language and then I have to press one button and then the described language or the language in which I want to convert my text that language text should appear after the clicking of that button so first of all I'm going to have the background color as black so here select the black color this is my screen and if you want to place any layout yes you can have any of the layout if you need something in the horizontal arrangement or in the vertical arrangement here I am having the vertical arrangement the height and width will be converted into fell parent I'll take both height and width as fell parent and then the background color will be set to be none so that there should be no color and the alignment should be center so these are the described properties of vertical arrangement one now I want to have one label simple label which will tell the user to have to enter some text so the default text color should be orange and here I am going to change the text as enter the text you will ask the user enter the text in first language fine so in this way uh, my text has been printed on the screen you can have the font size as 25 make it bold as well as italic and if you want to change the typeface of your font you can have it like this okay monospace has created it little blurred this is the perfect thing and here you can have it as 23 so in this way I have entered enter the text in first language or the default language then after this I need a text box in which the user will enter the value so in this way I have entered the text box you can create the width of this as fill parent the user will write the text here suppose if I want to change if I want to translate the English language into Hindi language here I will type the English language word then I'll have one button see this is the button after clicking this button the text of first language will be converted into desired language so what particular language you need to change is can be named here so let us suppose here I'll have convert into Hindi fine I have given the text as converted to Hindi made it 20 you can have it as bold italic as well as you can change the shape of this as oval you can make its width as fill parent you can change the background color of this button let us suppose if you want it as a green button convert it into Hindi and then if you want to change the default color it should be black it's perfectly okay and if you want to change the type phase into monospace you can have it like this so 
a uh, user has entered the text into a uh, english language if you want to change the uh, hint you can have it enter any word of english i'm going to convert i'm going to make an english to hindi translator fine so here the text uh, hint for the text will be enter any word of english and now i want one label another label on which i'm going to display my result so here you can have the text color of your label as yellow or you can have as red fine you can make it of size 30 okay okay then here for the text you can have result fine in this way i have given it as result and then you can have it like monoface italic and bold so in this way my translator designing has been done in which i have asked the user to enter the text in the first language or you can have any of the english or hindi language then a user will enter the text here in the text box click on the convert into hindi button and the result should appear so these are the four steps which i need so here i have one vertical arrangement label is there then i have one text box one button is there what else component i need so you need in media you are going to have yandex translate so this is a non-visible component it will not be visible to the users but it will exist on our screen one so you can have the screen one also name title changed let us suppose here in the screen one i'm giving translator translator fine so in this way my screen name has been changed to translator there is one property known as icon if you are having no other no icon for selected for this particular property then you will be going to have the same icon of every uh, application but if you want to give a particular icon to your application you can select it here it will ask to upload a file choose a file so these are the few images which i have okay i'm going to have this image and i'll press okay so i have given an icon here so whenever i am going to install the apk file of this application on my mobile phone it will come with that android image which i have selected in the icon property so in the next video we are going to work on the block block programming part and then we'll test our application on our mobile phone keep watching